Wait, what? This is a, a rather small file. Alright, Special Agent Davies and I took a look around the place. Agent Davies talked to Miss to Mr. Smith while I looked around. Wait, so this... There was a... Wait, so... There was a file about him before he died? Because talked to Mr. Smith. This was from before he died. Evidence. It was found on a glass table in the living room. Found in a trash can. Taken from the surface of a chipped vase. Well, there's a glass table, and there's a trash can. This is a bizarrely incomplete file, but... It looks like it's talking about something that happened here. Evidence being collected from this room. Where's the vase? There it is. Alright, let's connect them. Oh, wait. I can't... I can't select that. What was over here? Oh, there we go. No. I guess nothing happened here that involved those things. Um, what? A house plant. Nothing special. Looks like some sort of designer trash can. Probably cost a few hundred. I can't do these on their own, right? No. no. Yep, glass table. Trash can. Surface of a chipped face. Hmm. I can't see it clearly from here. The loft is blocking it. Maybe I'll see it better from up there. Oh, what is in here? Uh, wow, Jesus, this place is huge. I can't see it clearly. Landscape art. I prefer paintings with people in them. Hmm. A vase with a crazy design on it. This vase has a big chip in it. So this place isn't perfect. Everything is so clean in here. Like a museum. All right, well, there's my chipped face. Uh, can I go upstairs? This is a really weird room. It's like some weird postmodern amalgamation of an apartment and a museum. I think I had a toy that looked like this when I was little. But damsel in distress stories always pissed me off. So I rescued him from the dragon. <laughs> Some kind of Batman memorabilia? It looks like a person with stomach problems. <laughs> Not something I'd show off. Uh. Aside from telling me Cordelia has a lot of money, this sort of stuff isn't telling me much about her. Elaborate, but this is like 18th century. Who has stuff like this anymore? I... What the hell is this? Two twins standing next and kind of slightly in front of each other? Kind of reminds me of The Shining. Unless... Could there be two Cordelias? Twins? Maybe? Hmm. Kind of reminds me of The Shining.
Did... Erica? You just walked through the... The painting... No, bad Erica. Go back. W walk back. You're breaking the laws of physics. Let me see if I can do that again. How did I do that? And... <laughs> so that must mean it's, it's actually like a physical thing that's appearing in the scene. Huh. Weird. I know there's that saying, you don't finish a work of art, you abandon it. But come on, at least finish a face. Yeah, none of this art appeals to me. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's just check cognition. I can't get anything clear. There are several memories here, but I can't get a fix on any single one. Alright, let's go finish that memory down here. The chip face, the trash can, and the glass table. So, this one. And this, and that. Yes, that's it. Wait, McAdams and Davies were here? What is going on? Oh, hi, ghosts. Davies. Didn't think I'd see you again. Looking spectrally today. FBI agents here. Would you please get your brother for us? Papers on the table. I'll be up momentarily. What are you doing? Max, I was upstairs being... Would you please get your brother for us? Miss? FBI? Yes, and we need to talk to your brother. Okay, but I need your help. I don't know what she's asking about. The vision starts to fall apart. If I knew more... Hmm. I need to know more. Let me switch back to Cordelia. Wait, what are these? I don't even see Cordelia in there. Is that John? Oh no, this is Cordelia. All right, what was the other one, then? Would you please get your brother for us? Miss? FBI? Yes. I'm okay. I do oh, okay, I see. All right, let's go back to Cordelia. For some reason, it has John's face on it, even though it's about Cordelia. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of her connection to John. Anyway, I think there's one thing left to do, right? Yeah. Something feels off. Am I missing something? Yes, beyond your control. Help must come from outside yourself. It sounds like I need to do something with Erica. I need to know why she'd show up to the Bureau asking for help. What happened? Hmm... Okay, I need to know why she showed up, and to know that, I think I need to know the other vision? And to know the other vision, what do I need? I, d I need some information, but I don't know what. Why does that say Kitchen Island? It's a slab of pink-veined marble. So what? I'm fine with my linoleum countertops. Maybe now I can get a clear vision of 
the model up here. I can't get anything clear. Hmm. There are several memories here. Okay, I'm not quite sure what to do. Oh wait, there's a room back here. Hello. This is her room. I can feel it. She has very strange taste in art. That's like some... sea... stuff. Something you'd see in the sea. I have no idea what they're called. I don't know what to say. It's not really my thing. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm sure someone can make some Freudian interpretations about this painting. I don't know. Sean Patience is apparently the painter. I wonder if she falls asleep peacefully in here. The prisoner is gone, but the cell is still here. She has to look in this thing every day. I wonder how she does it. I wonder if she falls asleep peacefully in- I'm seriously wondering if there might be two Cordelias. Wait, what the hell's going on over here? Some weird rippling. What is that? Some sort of spiritual energy? Or is that supposed to be water? That looks weird. What's going on there? I don't think this lamp was designed to actually provide any real illumination. But it does look neat. Could be anything under there. Severed body parts, booby traps, Christmas ornaments. My favorite. Let's see what's in drawer number one. All right. Dismemberment. Let's see. There's a folder stashed in here. Oh, that's not as exciting. Thought maybe there'd at least be poison gas. Davies. I wish we could have found this days ago. And there's clearly something being planned for McAdams. All right, another creepy serial killer's file. This one's about Davies, that one's about... Mc... Wait, McAdams? Is he the next target? Hmm. Had to call up the FBI office to get the name of that female agent who was here and... who interrogated me. She's not going to get away. Her name is Madison Davies, and she's now acting head of the Boston branch. This might actually turn out to be extremely fortunate. Going out after her, I gave her a fair chance. A more than fair chance. Wait a minute, so is that why she was targeted? She was getting too close to something? And she wouldn't back down? Is that why McAdams is backing down so much? He is giving into it? So maybe he's not a target now. Hmm. The scene with that hangman killer, Antony, was all set for her. Okay, so Antony was set up for Davies. Well, she was too lazy and stupid to piece together what was right in front of her, again. How does someone this pathetic and inept manage to hold on to a job? She couldn't even piece together who the man hanging there was. If she isn't able to catch a dead killer, I'll have to make sure that the dead killer catches her. What? Okay, so Antony was a killer. And someone... S killed him. Someone killed the killer and set up the crime scene for Davies to see. To lead her to... something? I don't know. Alright, let's look at this one. Hmm. He was removed from his position in Boston after Max's death. Presumably this was because of everything that happened following the death, but I can't get any of that speculation confirmed. 
I haven't been able to track where he went after leaving Boston. Ah, I got a lead. He was sent away to work with the Bureau in DC. Some demotion. He fails to save Max and then gets shifted off to work at HQ. I'd go after him, but it wouldn't do me any good. Uh. To. Wait. It wouldn't do me any good to sew in a different city? What? That, that doesn't make any sense. I need him here in Boston. Oh. Where it all happened, if it's going to mean anything. Another step forward. I finally found out the name of the other investigating agent who was with Samuel McAdams before Max died, Madison Davies. And wouldn't you know it, she's now in charge of the Boston branch of the FBI. A reliable source tells me that if she were to retire, then the most likely result would be Samuel McAdams' return to the Boston Bureau. Now I need to make sure she retires. As neat as dominoes in a line. Okay. So... Someone wasn't happy with her not retiring, so... They knocked her off? So that Samuel McAdams would come back? And they want Samuel McAdams for... something. I need him here in Boston where it all happened if it's going to mean anything. If it's going to mean anything. I don't know what that means. So apparently he failed to save Max. So... Is Cordelia pissed? That he failed to save Max? And she wants revenge? I don't know, but for some reason... I'm assuming this is written by Cordelia. And for some reason she wanted... Samuel here. So she got rid of Davies to get him here. But why? This must be her junk drawer. Just a bunch of knickknacks inside. Ugh, hideous. I'd have nightmares if I had to sleep near that thing. <laughs> yeah, all this art is, I mean, well, not all of it, but most of it's just bizarre crap. Like this, what the hell is this? It's like someone just designed some random shit, called it art, and then sold it for probably a million dollars. I can't open it, but I don't see a keyhole. This sculpture is a commentary on the futility of life. Even psychopaths need a place to write out checks and pay the bills. A few necklaces and bracelets. I can't tell much from it. I prefer handcuffs. Kinky. God, I'd kill for a view like this. I love living in Boston, but I wish I could appreciate it from this distance more often, not always from alleyway crime scenes. Let's see. Books by Jersey Kaczynski, Mickey Spillane, some books on breeding body language. And a book by a guy named Barboose called Hell. Fitting. What's this? These are notes on the hangman and the wise monkey. I'll take this. I'm collecting quite the file here. All right, the hangman. Anthony Longmore, the hangman, easy. I brushed up against him coming off the train earlier tonight and had a premonition. This is a dangerous man. Okay, so this definitely is Cordelia writing this. So her powers of precognition allowed her to see what he was. I followed him a while until he reached his apartment. I wanted to be completely sure about him. I knocked on his door and pretended to be a new neighbor. He seemed so desperate for the attention that it was almost sad put my hand on him as I said goodbye and I knew for certain that he'd have the FBI after him and he had some nasty plans for the future but that look in his eyes when I touched him I felt I don't know sympathy 
You'll need to be the first one. That'll set everything in motion properly. Use warehouse off Erethen Avenue. That'll set everything in motion properly. So I'm guessing she knows that this stuff is going to set things in motion because she has the powers of precognition. But I need to know what her end goal is. What is she setting in motion? What is all of this driving towards? Alright, the wise monkey. Joey Gothals. Ugh, that's a disturbing image. Was at the post office. A twitchy looking kid was behind the counter. I handed him my package and I accidentally brushed his hand. The premonition was so intense that I almost fell down. Always remember, keep on guard. Yeah, if you just suddenly saw all the things he did, oh my god. He needs to go. His M.O. <laughs> His M.O. and then there's a little arrow pointing to some eyes and ears and a tongue. Ugh. His M.O. is compelling and unmistakable. I can borrow it once I've gotten rid of him. Wait. I can borrow it once I've gotten rid of him? She's borrowing his M.O.? Why? I couldn't stop him from killing that woman, but I will ensure she's his last. Unfortunately, I'll need to hold on to him until I want him found. The plus side is that I followed him to a place called Erethen Avenue. This will be the perfect place for Mr. Longmore. A gift lies hidden in each, in each misfortune. Okay. So the wise monkey was first, and then the hangman. So this, I was wondering why both crimes occurred at Erethen Avenue, and the reason is because of Cordelia. Although I don't know why she liked Erethen Avenue so much, but she's the reason. Alright, so... Shoot. Let's go back to the hangman. Killing Antony Longmore set something in motion. And the same with Joey Gothals. She was holding on to him until the right moment. She stole his MO. Why? What is she trying to do? And how come I can use an item on the birdcage? Am I supposed to take a picture of it? This is not going to work with this. Didn't think so. Hmm. Whoops. Oh, there we go. I am awake. I was worried. Just be okay. Could you at least get me something? Hey, kiddo. I'm not very good at telling stories anymore. It's been a while. Do you remember the last time we were here like this? <laughs> I must have been 12. I was at your bedside, and I was trying to get you to talk. Dad had me playing one of those business deal games with you. Remember those? God, they were awful. For this one, I had to get you to trade me some toy you loved. And he would refuse to speak to me until I'd struck a deal. And as I was trying to cut a deal, you started to get pale, and you threw up on my shoes. Mom had to take you off to bed, and you stayed there, sick and sweaty, for like three days. I was there with you, begging you to wake up so that I could finish making that deal with you. But you didn't wake up. And for those three days, Dad wouldn't talk to me, wouldn't respond to me, wouldn't even look at me. Cordelia, I wanted you to wake up so that I could finish the deal and Dad would talk to me again. But now, I want you to wake up so that I'll know you're okay. Please, wake up. After seeing her talk to Rose, I know what she does to wake up from a blackout like this. But it's not enough. 
I need to know what got her here. I'd bet that another vision could clue me in. Yeah, I've got a bunch of fragments. Both of visions and of evidence, but I just don't have something to... keep it all together. I'm missing some threads that go right through everything. Alright, let's see if I can go through this door now. Yep. What is this, the bathroom? Fancy office. Mm. If you're going to work from home, this is the way to do it. Huh. I actually kind of like these. I don't even know what those are. Are they like... Dog dragon things? Are those some type of Pokemons? Gotta catch them all. Very clean. It doesn't look like it's had a fire in it in some time. It's probably just ornamental. With a place like this, I'm sure it has some fancy central heating and air. All these paintings seem to be very monochromatic. But is this the same painting? Hmm. Strange, there's actually three paintings, but it seems to only be showing me, like, one? What's at this desk? I see a letter of some sort. Or, never mind, an envelope. And a phone. Well, this is a fancy little gadget. Yeah, what is that, like a combination tablet phone? Well, I can connect something. I bet some big talks were had and some big money was made at that desk. Business phone, pretty standard. I have my own phone. It lit up, but just for a second. Didn't seem to do anything. Hmm, let me see if I can connect my phone to the USB slot. I don't know why she would carry her USB cord around with her, but let's try it. That won't work there. Didn't think so. Pretty sure these don't have a USB cord attached to them either. Think, Erica, think. No, I need something else. Maybe my gun has a USB cord in... Nah. No. Stupid idea. Oh, wait. Envelope. This thing is colored to indicate danger. A rush delivery. At least it's not thick enough to be holding any body parts. Well, that's some comfort, at least. It's empty. There's hmm. something odd about it. Like it was left here deliberately. Maybe it was left here just for someone to use their cognition powers on it? Yep. I need him to sign away his claim on the town. You do your thing, I'll do mine. I've spent the past two days getting nowhere on this one design. Keith. That's it! That must be Max, Cordelia's older brother. She mentioned him in the cemetery. So this vision must be from at least six years back. I still can't believe I took that rose from Max's grave. Though I wonder now if Cordelia knew that was going to happen. Yeah, actually, she probably would have. Hmm. 
was just thinking. She said that... In the last episode, Cordelia said that she saw someone who looked burned outside of her place. Obviously, the cane killer. And so I sent a patrol to watch over her place, which is the patrol car that got the body thrown onto it. Now I'm thinking that there's a pretty good chance she was lying. She probably, because she has the powers of precognition, she probably realized that by saying what she did, that would convince me to send a car, and by sending the patrol car, that gets me involved, and would get me involved in the case and make me come here. So, I think... I'm guessing she probably lied about that part, just to get me here. I wonder if the cane killer's even alive. He might not be. But then if he's not, then what the hell does she want? Because I'm pretty sure the cane killer... ...ended up killing her brother. I mean, she was apparently the one that actually pulled the trigger, but I'm pretty sure the cane killer probably forced her. I would... think. I, I don't know. I'll find out. I love these guys. Though it feels kind of wrong to have things like this hanging as decoration and not know what they're supposed to mean. I know, what the hell are they? Max picked it out, now he's got to look at it. <laughs> yeah, I would never pick any piece of art to have in my place if I didn't know, if it didn't have some sort of a meaning to me. Like, what's the point? Just some random art that means nothing? That's just weird. It's an old photo of the family. It's one of the few we have. Mom and Dad weren't really picture people. Who's that creepy guy in the background just staring? It's an old photo of the family. Right there. It's one of the few we have. Mom and Dad weren't really picture people. It looks almost like a red suit. I wonder if that's... the family lawyer? Why the hell would the family lawyer be in a family photo? It's a bit weird. Who takes their lawyer in to their... I mean, like, do they adopt the lawyer? Or something? Is he a really, really close family friend? Hmm. Well, um, I'm thinking there probably aren't two Cordelias, because wouldn't she show up in an old photo? If there were twin Cordelias, then she would be in this photograph, surely. It's an old photo of the family. It's one of the few we have. Mom and Dad weren't really picture people. Max had all sorts of fancy controls installed here. <laughs> Boys and toys. Max puts in many, many hours in this thing. He gets it reupholstered yearly. I don't want to sit. I hate the smell of leather. A coat rack made of burnished steel. I forget the story behind how we got this. It was something to do with Portugal, I think. Hmm. Alright, so with this I can use my powers of precognition. Let's go to the desk again. Nope, nothing. Hey, did the mail come yet? Did we get... Yes, it came. And everything is as bad as it could be. How are we going to get the Enthon Towers functioning as a sustainable and profitable housing venture if politicians and nitwits won't get their fangs out of our asses? I can go and talk to some people downtown, maybe try something a little more tactful than whatever you've been doing to upset them like this. What's their issue now? 11th hour building code shit. They can smell blood. They know we're doing something good. They don't want anyone to raise the bar because they know it'll mean they'll have to start jumping higher. And? That's it? Just a few more building code hurdles? <sighs> and there's a thing with Keith. 
I need him to sign away his claim on the towers. You can imagine how willing he is to do that. This place is his baby. We had a fight. So, what is it you need from Keith exactly? Look, the bureaucrats are descending. They'll do everything they can to slow us and stop us. I need Keith to give up his claim on his involvement in the towers, but he refuses to sign these. Of course he does. What did you think, he'd bow out of the way? He designed this place, Max. He wants acknowledgement. Well, he's not gonna get it. They're trying to rezone this area before everything's even done. We moved too fast on this, Cordelia. We were so eager to go, 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 that we didn't slow down to consider that people are, well, people. Max, you're not that cynical. Look, it's the High Rollers Lounge we're trying to get into, and they don't like that we're using the express elevator. There's pride at stake. Okay, so one of the letters, which I think was from John, was mentioning that he's looking into Max's case and that he was stepping on a lot of people's toes to get where he's at. So it sounds like the building of the towers caused a lot of friction and made him a lot of enemies. So, <laughs> what did they do, though? Did one of his rival companies finally just, like, pop and hire a serial killer to kill him and his sister? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm not sure how that plays into the Kane killer. Give me the papers. I'll get Keith to sign. Cordelia, he won't. Max, you're a businessman, not a diplomat. You do your thing, I'll do mine. And that's how we win it. <laughs> Together. So there's a safe behind that painting. Good to know. Max, what's up? You've been wound very tight lately. Maybe it's the caffeine. I have been throwing it back lately. <laughs> well... I hate to drive past your defenses, but I did notice the old family photo is out on your desk. You didn't dig that out for nothing. Have you been missing mom and dad? Miss dad? No. I got it out so I could look at it and remind myself he wasn't a monster. Or a giant. He was just a man. A really good businessman who never stepped out of that one role. And I'm afraid I'm turning into him. I do the same. I put up a facade to deal with meetings and investors. God knows I'm good at it. Look at all we've got. <sighs> but lately, I'm afraid I'm just becoming the facade. You have a safe in here? I didn't know that. Was that Keith's idea too? No, mine. Guilty. Always wanted to be in a gangster film, yeah, she? <laughs> Oh, it'll be a great little surprise I can impress clients with. Seriously, who has one of these anymore? Max, if you show it off, you're defeating the purpose. Max, you might be a natural at what you do, but you're too good-hearted to lose yourself to a role that you play well. It doesn't feel that way, though. Look, even though Mom and Dad are dead, it still feels like they're looking on and making sure I take care of you and Keith. And when I slip up and stop playing my role, it feels like Dad is in the next room, holding the belt. No way, Max. He may have been strict, but he wanted us to be happy above all else. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. Dad made it clear that he liked you. He always forced me to earn it. And he made it clear that he was teaching me to look after the family. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to fill the shoes of a ghost. Well, I'm glad you brought it up. We'll work on this, okay? Alright, let's see if I can go get Keith to sign this. Max needs Keith to sign these, but Keith is being predictably difficult. And who exactly is Keith? 
It looks like in the photo there's another brother. Is that the other brother? And if so, then why do they need him to sign away? Uh, sign away his claim on the towers. Some nights when I can't sleep, I'll come in here, start up a little fire, and curl up on the couch with a book. I'm getting that feeling again. It's been happening a lot lately. It feels kind of like a quick headache. But it's more than that. What's strange is, I feel as though I could almost choose to make it happen. As, as if I could... What's happening to me? Whoa. She was having visions. Probably her first, guessing from the reaction she had. Yeah, this is when she first discovered her abilities. Black Flower. Oh, hello. This must have been where that Black Flower came from. Yep, there's the cut stem. Where was that coming from? It felt like it came from inside my head. And whose voice was that? It almost sounded familiar. <sighs> Get a grip. Okay. Max picked this up during a business trip in France. He got to watch them make it. I really like having it turned on as background noise, but I don't like actually watching it. It doesn't matter what we do. We always get fruit flies, <laughs> and this is their home base. When we were in Tuscany, there was this town that quarried this beautiful marble. We picked some up to make these counters with. Hmm. When we were in Tuscany, there was this town that... Fun fact, uh, marble actually makes a terrible surface for counters. It's beautiful, and it sure as hell is expensive. But it makes for a very bad surface, because it's highly reactive to acids. Once again, it says Kitchen Island. I don't... I don't know what that means. Is that some sort of a joke? When we designed this place, we modeled the kitchen after the one in our childhood home. Someone comes in to water them. We killed a bunch of plants before we all finally admitted that none of us have the time or want the responsibility. <laughs> I know the feeling. That's why I don't have any plants. It's from India. This one got a big crack on it when it was being shipped. This is made from some kind of special African wood. Keith made it. He's so good with this kind of stuff, but it's the tech work that he keeps returning to. Alright, let's see if she can explain what the hell these paintings and art actually are. Max commissioned this one from a friend. I love winter scenes. This one makes me want to curl up in a chair and drink tea. I don't know, I just find it kind of depressing. Everything's cold and... dead. Oh, so I guess Keith is the tinkerer, which would make sense, because he apparently designed the towers. So he's an engineer of some sort. This was done in honor of our friend Ali. She battled cancer for a year before finally succumbing to it. It captures her suffering and deterioration so well. Features are missing. Certain areas were rendered then destroyed. It's haunting. So that's why it looks partially complete. See, now that I actually know what the heck it's of, it's actually a good piece of art. And that's actually a really, that's a really disturbing piece of art to have. A bust of your friend in a deteriorated state. Ugh. I wish Max would get rid of this one. 
Looks like a person wrapped up in a cocoon. <laughs> well, it's either a person wrapped up in a cocoon or a person with stomach problems. Either way, it's crap. It's an old bas relief we picked up in Europe. All right, so tell me, what is this painting of? A painting of Janelle and Mallory. Sweet girls. Twins with congenital heart problems. This painting was part of a fundraiser Max set up for them. Ah. Okay. So there are not twin Cordelias. At least, probably not. Hell, it could happen. Anything could happen. But probably not. What the heck are you making? A miniature rocket ship? Looks like Keith's soldering some sort of rocket ship. Fun. That looks freaking awesome. Is it actually going to... Like, is he actually going to attach a rocket to it, though? It's a box of components. Transistors, resistors, integrated circuits. He's a whiz. And he's taught me a little. I got this at an auction. I might have overbid for it, but it reminded me so much of this one toy I had as a child that I just couldn't let it go. I think of it as a fin poking out of the water. To me, it represents something that seems ominous on the surface, but whose deeper nature is just simply hidden and unknowable. It's kind of funny that that Cordelia knows what almost all of this means, and it actually has a meaning to her. But to Erica, it's just like, what the fuck is all this shit? And that's exactly how I was, too, because I didn't know what the hell any of it meant. Models of planets. They're metal. Keith loves this sort of stuff. Me, I'm more interested in life on this planet. Hey, Keith, what are you working on? You kidding? Nothing. I've spent the past two days getting nowhere on this one design problem, and maybe it'll turn out the whole idea's crap. And then I have Max showing up, pestering me to sign away all claims on the towers. Didn't this same sort of thing happen when Max tried to solicit your design ideas for the towers in the first place? You said it couldn't be done. You were too wrapped up in the thing before it boo-hoo-hoo rocks and hard places. Well, no, but... Thanks. I see what you're doing, and, and you're right. But this latest thing I'm trying to do, it just hurts to keep thinking about, but I can't let it go. I can at least think about the tower's design and feel good. It's one big problem that I solved. So you're on to the next thing? The gears don't stop spinning in that head of yours, do they? You make it sound like a choice, Cordy. I'm working on the Ori over there. I'm trying to make it into a functional tool for measuring planetary movements. Orrery? That's what that thing with the planets is called? Well, ours is a little different, but yes. I just need to work on balancing it and I'll be finished, but it's tricky. I need to use the right wrench on the right planet and I have to adjust it in the right direction. Adjust it? I'm using these to make the fine adjustments, but nothing has worked so far. Something tells me I'm going to be fixing the planets. Keith, I have a suggestion for how you could fix those planets you're working on. Yeah? What's that? I... I do? Um... Actually, I don't. Oh god, what have I gotten myself into? A small wrench. Use the small wrench. Blue. Adjust the blue planet with it. Counterclockwise. And turn it counterclockwise. No, Cordelia. I'm sure I already tried that and it didn't work. Can you tell me what progress you've made with the orrery? Not much to say. I haven't been very systematic, so I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my edge. Keith, don't talk like that. You're just down. Lots of stress lately. I'm not even going to ask him to sign this until I fix this, because there's no way. He needs some happiness before he, before there's any chance he'd sign this. Keith, have I noticed some strain between you and Max? Probably. 
He's getting insufferable, trying to tear away any dignity I might have gained through working on the design of the towers, and he's doing it just so he can move along to the next new thing. What's wrong with moving on to new things? Nothing! If you've got somewhere new to move to, I don't have that luxury right now. I'll talk to you later, Keith. All right. All right, let's take a look at this model, and it just occurred to me I've never saved. So this is... Oh. Keith. Cordelia's other brother, I guess. Huh. Maybe I can look him up. Maybe even call him. Yeah, actually, he's probably still alive. Hmm. Anyway, like I was saying, it just occurred to me that I haven't even saved the game. Can I... Oh, there we go. Alright, let's take a look at this. Models of planets. They're metal. Keith loves this sort of stuff. Wait, can I not look at it? I can use something on it. Uh, I don't think using my unsigned documents on that would help. I should think of something else. Hmm. Maybe I need to figure it out from Erica's perspective? Let me do that, and also let me see if I can find information on Keith. Oh. There we go. Already done for me. Alright, Maxwell Smith was a third-generation entrepreneur based in Boston, Massachusetts. He primarily worked alongside his sister, Cordelia Smith, developing luxury living spaces in the Boston area, though an eclectic assortment of patents and design prototypes came out of the company as well. I guess that'd be from Keith. Max Smith is deceased, survived by Cordelia Smith and Keith Smith. Alright, so he should be still alive. His death occurred in October of 2005, exact date and time are unknown. Cause of death unconfirmed, though fire is the most likely cause. Huh? ID can only be made by matching dental records. Unconfirmed? So wait, they didn't know that Cordelia... Well, yeah, I guess if they knew Cordelia killed him, then she'd be in jail. Huh. Fire. Fire. Could that have any connection to the cane killer that I burned? That seems unlikely. But then, yeah, but she shot him, so... I don't know. Keith Smith. Keith Smith, occu occupation unknown. He is younger brother to Maxwell Smith, Boston-based entrepreneur. While his exact occupation is unknown, it is presumed he works within the family business. As of 2006, his whereabouts are unknown. Well, goddammit. That basically does not help. At all. It's presumed he works within the family business. Let me check the wall safe. Can I... There we go. And behind painting number two, we have... Yep, Max is safe. Just like I saw in the vision. Here it is. I wonder what sort of valuables are in it. Maybe there's bars of gold. I can be rich. And be rid of all of this horribleness and go live in another country and buy a mansion. Oh. Wait. It doesn't use numbers, it uses colors? What? White? A slightly darker shade of white that may be called gray? And red. How many does it take? I don't think it tells me. Oh no, it's four. <sighs> Still locked. What's the right code? Hmm. Didn't she say something about this painting looking monochromatic? This hides the Smith family safe.
Okay, well the primary color in that is green. I'm not sure how I'd possibly figure out which order these are supposed to be in. Let me write that down. Green. Actually, yeah, I think it is the paintings, because there's one big painting in there where I came from, there's two here, and then there's one in the bedroom. Alright, so the primary color of this is white. I wonder if the author's name has anything to do with the order. Well, I can't exactly read that, so... No. Is that... Oh, wait, I don't... Maybe it has something to do with the order of the seasons? Yeah, it's not the author's name, but anyway, that's green. The other one's green. This one's white, obviously. And I believe the one up there of the two women with the congenital heart disease is blue. as a predominant color. And I think the one in the bedroom is purple. But I'm going to go confirm that. Let's also take a look at, take a look at this model while I'm here. Kinda reminds me of The Shining. Alright, well, obviously that's blue. I don't know about the seasons thing, though, because there's no season associated with this. Unless... Wait, no. Didn't... I think Cordelia mentioned something about the season... The time that this took place. I don't remember what it was, though. Yeah, I have no idea about a season for that or a time, but it's definitely purple. Quite a bit of blue, too, but I think purple's probably the predominant color. Yeah, I'd say so. Purple or red? Eh, probably purple. I'm gonna write red just in case. Okay, let's go take a look at the model up here. I forgot to do that. It looks like it moves, but it also looks extremely fragile. Hmm. I can use something on it. The hell could I use, though? Think, Erica, think. Hmm, could I shoot it? <laughs> Those two don't work together. Think, Erica, think. I have no idea what the hell to use on that. You know what? <sighs> Maybe it's not tied to the color in the paintings, because this has a bunch of colors all over it, too. Hmm. I don't know. Let me switch back. Which one? This one? No. After seeing her talk to Rose, I'd bet. Uh, this? This one? Would you please get your brother for FBI? Nope. Yeah. Okay, this one? I think this is it. It looked like Keith's face. Yeah, here we go. A painting of Janelle and Mallory. Sweet girls. Twins with congenital heart problems. No, she doesn't mention anything about a time. 
Hmm. Okay, well, there can't be that many combinations of four. In fact, wouldn't the number of combinations just be four squared? Isn't that how that works? So, there's 16 different combinations then? I'm not sure what all those combinations would be. I could just try them all. It really wouldn't take that long. Hell, I think I'm just gonna try them all. Yeah, I think I will. But don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch it because I actually need to go to the bathroom too. So I'll just cut to after all that's done and after I've solved the, uh, the, uh, uh, words. I, I don't know them. What word are, are words the safe? Yes. So I'll cut to right when I finish the safe puzzle. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I changed my mind about the safe, actually. I tried a couple combinations and then thought, you know what, actually, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.